Hello, my name is Jimmy McCullery, Digital Education Specialist at Clarivate, primarily focused on developing EndNote training materials. Before my current role, I was a member of the EndNote product support team for about 17 years. Today, I want to take a moment to cover some quick troubleshooting tips to work through if you're experiencing difficulties loading the EndNote site while you write tools for Microsoft Word. This video will be showing EndNote X9 for Windows and Windows 10 as our example operating environment. However, most of this advice would apply to other recent versions of EndNote, Microsoft Office, and Microsoft Windows. Some of these steps require administrator-level access, so you may want to reach out to a member of your organization's IT department for additional assistance. I've just performed a standard installation of EndNote X9. During the installation process, the EndNote installer automatically scans your hard drive for compatible versions of Microsoft Office. If the installer finds a compatible version of Microsoft Office, EndNote will automatically load the site while you write tools for Microsoft Word. I'm going to click Finish here to wrap up my installation. And when I launch Microsoft Word, we should see that on the ribbon, at the top of the Microsoft Word document window, I've got an EndNote X9 tab. Now, in some instances, there may be an underlying issue with Microsoft Word or Microsoft Windows where this tab doesn't load automatically, and you might have to do a little bit more troubleshooting. If you do not see this tab in Word after installing EndNote, we recommend confirming your exact version of Microsoft Word as your first troubleshooting step. To do that, you can go to the File menu in Microsoft Word, Depending on your version of Microsoft Word, you'll most likely be selecting the Account menu item, and then from the Account page, you would click on the About Word button here on the right. We can see that I'm running Microsoft Word for Office 365, Microsoft's subscription service providing access to its latest version of Office, among other products and services. We see a specific version number afterward and the bitness. There are two types of builds for Microsoft Office. There are the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the software, and we can see that I'm running the 64-bit version. There are also two variants of the EndNote Site While You Write add-in as well. To successfully install the Site While You Write tools manually, you have to make sure that you're loading the version of the tools that matches the Bitness version of your Microsoft Office installation. A 64-bit version of Microsoft Word will not accept a 32-bit Site While You Write tools and vice versa. If I need to load the Site While You Write tools manually, I will need to make sure that I'm choosing the 64-bit version of the Site While You Write add-in file. After confirming your Microsoft Word details, click OK. And at this point, we recommend exiting Word altogether. Since this is just an empty document, I'm going to close Word without saving any changes. If you happen to have an actual project open that you're working on, make sure to save any changes before you close out of Word altogether. I already have a Windows File Explorer window open. You can launch File Explorer yourself in Windows 10 by right-clicking on the Start menu to choose File Explorer from this menu. Alternately, Pressing the Windows key and the letter E key on your keyboard at the same time will also launch File Explorer. I'm going to navigate to my EndNote X9 program folder, typically found on your C drive, under Program Files x86. Here we see that I have my EndNote X9 folder, and we find an executable file inside called Configure EndNote. Let's double click on this file. Configure EndNote.exe is a specialized installer designed to load an EndNote plugin for Microsoft Office or specific versions of LibreOffice and OpenOffice. I'm clicking Next, and we can see here that I can configure the components of the installer I'd like to include in this action. The site where you write tools for Microsoft Word is already marked. If you find this item unmarked on your window, that could indicate EndNote doesn't see your Office installation and you may want to double check that you're running a compatible version of Microsoft Office. I'm not worried about OpenOffice or LibreOffice today. I'm going to leave these unchecked, and I'll proceed by clicking Next. 
We see here that Windows prompts for my system administrator credentials to approve this action. If you receive this prompt, we suggest reaching out to your computer administrator or a member of your organization's IT team. I've already got my credentials handy here, so I'm just going to type them in myself. And I'll click Yes to proceed. Configure EndNote is only going over a fraction of what EndNote Desktop installs when you're performing a standard installation, specifically the available word processor plugins. I'm going to click Finish here. The process wrapped up very quickly. Before we go back to Word, I want to point out that you can perform a similar function by choosing the Repair option from your Windows Settings window as well. To get to the appropriate screen, right-click the Windows Start button, and on the contextual menu, you'll see a menu item here that's either going to be called Apps and Features or Programs and Features. You'll want to click on this menu item. This part of Windows Settings shows you all of your installed software. Typically, Windows sorts this list alphabetically by default. Let's scroll down to find EndNote. We find it here and pressing the Modify button allows for the addition or removal of EndNote components. We can perform a repair of the entire installation from the screen or remove the software altogether. Even though we just ran Configure EndNote, let's press the Repair button to see this feature in action. Click Next to proceed, and the EndNote installer goes through the entire installation process, making sure that each component is present. If the repair utility finds something missing or damaged, the utility will restore that component with a fresh copy. The repair process is complete, and I'll press Finish. We'll close out of the Apps and Features window and launch Microsoft Word once more. I already had the tools loading before running Configure EndNote or repairing my EndNote installation, and we see that they're still present. If you had not found the EndNote X9 tab in Word, but then ran Configure EndNote or a repair of your EndNote installation, at this point, We'd hope to see this new EndNote X9 entry on the Word ribbon, which is what Microsoft calls the series of tabs that run across the top of your document window. If after repairing your installation or running Configure EndNote, and your EndNote X9 tab is still missing, we recommend digging a little deeper in Microsoft Word. The next troubleshooting step involves confirming your Microsoft Office Visual Basic environment is functioning correctly. Visual Basic is the engine that powers third-party add-ins like the Site While You Write tools. And if for some reason either Visual Basic was missing or damaged, you won't be able to load third-party add-ins for Word. In Microsoft Word for Windows, press the keyboard shortcut of Alt and F11 at the same time. Once again, pressing both Alt and F11 should launch the Visual Basic for Applications interface here in Microsoft Windows. We see that's just come up on my screen, which would be a good indicator that my Visual Basic environment is functioning correctly. If you receive an error message after pressing Alt F11, or if this window doesn't come up at all, this behavior may indicate some problem related to your Microsoft Office installation. At this point, you might want to repair your Microsoft Office installation through your Windows Settings window. Or you might want to modify your Office installation to ensure you're including Visual Basic for applications. Since Visual Basic is working for me, we'll close out of this window by going to File, then select Close and Return to Microsoft Word. If you find Visual Basic is working on your computer, the next troubleshooting tip is to confirm which specific add-ins are loading with Microsoft Word. To do so, you'll go to the File menu so that you can bring up the Word Options window by choosing Options from this list of items along the left-hand side of the window. From Word Options, select the Add-ins tab. 
And from add-ins, you've got a list of active and inactive add-ins. We're interested in the Manage drop-down found toward the bottom of this window. The Manage menu is set to Calm Add-ins by default. We'll click the Manage drop-down here, and we'll first check for Disabled Items. The Disabled Items option is the last menu item on the Manage menu. If we choose Disabled Items and press Go, we discover that I don't have any disabled items. There's a chance Microsoft Word may be disabling your EndNote Site While You Write add-in. If you find EndNote or Site While You Write on your Disabled Items window, highlight the entry and choose to enable the add-in. Afterward, exit Word altogether and relaunch it to see if your EndNote X9 tab now appears. Nothing for me to re-enable here, and perhaps the same for you, but it's always a good idea to check Word's Disabled Items window to confirm whether or not Microsoft Word is for whatever reason disabling site while you write. We'll press Close to leave the Disabled Items window. Next, we'll set that Manage drop-down menu back to Calm Add-ins and then press Go once more. We see that in my instance of Microsoft Word, I've got quite a few Calm Add-ins. We can confirm the loading preference by the check mark next to each item. We see that I have one installed add-in not loading, a OneNote add-in. But the specific entry we're interested in here is the EndNote Site While You Write add-in. If you find the EndNote Site While You Write com add-in on this window, but perhaps unchecked, try checking its box to see if that makes the EndNote X9 tab appear in Word. There's a good chance that once you check the box next to EndNote Site While You Write and click OK to close the screen, you might find that the EndNote X9 tab now appears. The buttons on the EndNote X9 tab may function correctly, but the next time you close and relaunch Microsoft Word in some instances, the Site While You Write com add-in might become unchecked once more. If that happens for you and the EndNote X9 tab disappears after closing and reopening Word, that's usually an indicator of an underlying problem. The cause may be a permissions issue related to your Microsoft Windows user account, or perhaps trouble with a Windows registry entry. We can usually resolve this problem by manually removing and reloading the Site While You Write tools. Typically, to remove a COM add-in for Microsoft Word, you have to launch Word as an administrator. Let's exit Word altogether. I don't have any other Office programs open at this time. It's a good idea to close Microsoft Outlook before proceeding, since Outlook can use Word for email editing, and that can interfere with some of these Site While You Write troubleshooting steps. The easiest method for launching Word as an administrator in Windows 10 involves searching for Word within the integrated search field on the Windows taskbar. We found the matching Word app. Let's right click on the match. and we'll have an option on this contextual menu to Run as Administrator. Choose Run as Administrator to input your administrator credentials. You might need to reach out to your computer administrator or a member of your IT department to get through this particular step if this is a school or work computer. I'm inputting my credentials, and we'll press Yes. And upon Word's launch, we're ready to remove and then re-add the Site While You Write tools. Let's go to the File menu again to choose Options. From the Options screen, we'll select the Add-ins tab. We're going to look at Com Add-ins once more, so we'll click the Go button next to Manage. Make sure to highlight the EndNote Com Add-in found here. Even if Site While You Write has a check in its box, let's note the file path shown for the location information. This path is the folder on your hard drive we'll be visiting to reload the Site While You Write tools once more. After noting your location information, press Remove. With EndNote no longer present, let's select the Add button. From this screen, let's use this window to navigate to the folder path shown as your location information. We'll go to the C drive. The 64-bit version of the EndNote Site While You Write add-in resides within the Program Files folder. You'll navigate into the Program Files x86 folder to find the 32-bit add-in. Because I've got the 64-bit version of Office, we're going into Program Files. 
Next, we'll open the Common Files folder. We found the ResearchSoft subfolder, followed by a CWYW folder. Finally, we'll navigate into the folder named 19, because I've got EndNote X9, and we see a couple of items in here. We're selecting the first item, the EndNote CWYW.dll file. Make sure to highlight this file and press OK. EndNote Site While You Write is back on the COM Add-ins window. We see the check mark for these tools. We'll want to click OK. And we find that the EndNote X9 tab is still present, but repositioned because of its reload action. To test our disappearing EndNote tab fix, let's close and reopen the Word program. Perfect! We see the EndNote X9 tab is back in its original position on the Microsoft Word ribbon without performing any additional steps. This troubleshooting advice and more can be found within the EndNote knowledge base. We'd recommend reaching out to our product support team if your problematic behavior persists. We thank you for choosing EndNote.